Good evening. Welcome to Expat Insights. I'm your host, Raju Mandhian. Every Sunday here on Expat Insights, we look into the lives of foreigners, foreigners who have made Philippines their homes. We take external and objective views of the good they do in this country and the businesses they build. Today, we have a guest who is very global uh, with his background. He was born in Malaysia, grew up in Vancouver, and became very successful in Taiwan. Now he has made Philippines his home. Our guest tonight, the businessman of the year 1998 from Taiwan, and the time elite person of the year in Taiwan, 1998 and 2002, Mr. Eddie Chai, founder and CEO of Diamond Lifestyle Corporation. So, before we meet him, let's have a look at his life. Chai先生以帮助人们白手起家的理念，爱与分享的态度，名列天下杂志五百大服务业前一百六十九名的成果，让无数人梦想成真。事迹，其创业十七年过程充分展现坚毅不拔的精神，贯彻人的命运可以由
You know, mm. you can do a lot of social work, charity work, because you have people. Mm -hmm. You know, some businessmen they can do charity work with money, mm -hmm. but sometimes things cannot be done with just money. So, for what specific achievement of yours, whether it was a lot of people, a lot of money, or a lot of social work, for what exactly were you given that award, Businessman of the Year? Was it complete, all three put together? Yes, what, yes, all three put yes, together. yes. Mm -hmm. Then you also got the Time Elite uh, Award of 2002 in Taiwan. Yes. Was that for the same thing or something else? Yeah, more or less. And of course, because you know, when you have so many people, you can you do have a little bit of power in Taiwan and whenever it comes to uh, election, you know, I get many important people coming to see me, you know, oh, the you president, the vice president, mm -hmm. you know, they, they want votes, right? So, so I do well a little bit of uh, uh, connections in, in Taiwan. And Wait. it's Wait. Also, mm -hmm. uh, I went through the material of your company and I went through a little bit of your past and then one thing that struck me and the reason that our theme today is love, ambition and multi-level marketing, it's a yes. strange theme, uh, but I picked up the love and ambition from your materials. I think you're big on love yes. and in your material it says that there are three kinds of love. Yes. Do you want to talk to me about those three kinds of love? Yes, uh, you know there are three kinds of love. The first kind of love is I love you because I want you. Okay, you what know. does that mean? I mean, can you expand on that? Uh, maybe one for sex. Okay. okay. Right. <laughs> We're going to talk about sex today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I love you because I want you. You know, animals have this, this kind of love too. Mm -hmm. The other kind of love is I want you. I love you because I need you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, animals have this kind of love too. Yeah. You know, they need us to give them water, give them food. Mm -hmm. Right. And there is a kind, third kind of love. I love you because you need me. Mm -hmm. Now, only human beings have this kind of love. The third kind of love. Yes, only the third kind. So is it more a uh, sacrificial kind of a love? Yes. Is it more uh, a kind of a martyr kind of a love? You're giving yourself to someone. Yes, you have to really sometimes you mm -hmm. know, give to other people. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not taking. I think sometimes giving gives you a lot of pleasure. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, animals don't really know how to give this kind of love, but mm -hmm. we human beings, you know, uh, a lot of times we can give, give this love, not because we just have money, but, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there are a lot of people in need, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes we can do a lot of things to help other people too. So does this value, the way you value love and your company, does this flow through the culture of your businesses that you've been building across the world? Oh yes, this is the, uh, 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 the foundation stone really for yeah. what I'm doing today. Yeah. You know, uh, I should not start this company called Diamond Lifestyle. I shouldn't. Without, without the yeah. value of love. If not for this value and so on, I should not start this company. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the managing director of a multi-billion dollar company. Mm -hmm. uh, we do over two billion US a year. In the US, in Canada? Uh, worldwide. Worldwide, okay. Worldwide, okay. Mm -hmm. And in that company, I was doing very well because my turnover is huge. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the last 20 over years, I was making over a million US a year. Whoa! Uh, I mean, that's on the low side. Uh, yeah. On good years, I make five to six million US wow, a year. Wow, yeah. wow. And in our industry, our income is a royalty income. In other words, even if I don't work, I retire. Even if I die, I make over a million US. Mm -hmm. So why did I start DLC? Uh, are you asking me that? Yeah, it's love, really. It's uh. responsibility. Uh, people need us. And there are still so many things wrong with our industry. You, you're also very high on ambition. You're also very high on go and get it, go and do what you want, no? Yes. And you also inspire that amongst your people. It is seen in your videos and your presentations. Tell me a little bit about wanting to achieve more. Uh, achieving more mm -hmm. and you know, having big dreams, I yeah. think, is the source of many big businesses. <laughs> uh, we must dare to dream. And mm -hmm. when dreams are free, why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? But of course, we must not dream of dreams that are you know, not feasible. Uh, there are many dreams that are very, very feasible in our industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of these dreams uh, are goals that we should strive for. We should strive for. Uh, personally, I don't like what I see in the industry today. Mm -hmm. And I think most people do have a very poor 
perspective of the, the network in the, the network the industry today. Uh, I was asking, uh, you know, many people in the Philippines, how many network companies are there in mm -hmm. the Philippines? Mm -hmm. And people tell me hundreds, some tell me thousands. Correct. And I told them, no, there are only two network companies. Which are? The, one, the first one is the biggest company in the world, and the second one is DLC. All right. Okay. And, uh, I'm not asking for a fight with all the other people in other companies, mm -hmm. but I like to ask all the owners of network companies or the leaders of network companies, mm -hmm. in your company, do you play games? Mm -hmm. Do people get hurt? Mm -hmm. Do distributors end up buying products that they, they have at home because mm -hmm. of, of, of product loading mm -hmm. and game playing? Mm -hmm. If they do, then I like to ask them, are you a real networking company or are you a pyramid scheme? This biggest company that you're mentioning, are we allowed to use the names? Uh, we? I guess we can. It's, the, it's called Mway. Oh, Mway is the biggest in the Amway world. Mway is the biggest company in the world. And in Mway and DLC, we don't allow you to play games. All right. And what we do is we write in our marketing plan where we close all the loopholes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we don't give you any room to play mm -hmm. games. So your past was with Amway? I was from Amway. I started from Amway. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I joined the company that I was before. Mm -hmm. and I, the I company I just left. Mm -hmm. uh, did very well in that company. And, uh, but you know, after so many years, uh, I like to do something before I retire or slow down. Mm -hmm. And if I do not do what I know in my head, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think I will regret when I'm old. Going back to all these people that you have touched, your life has touched them and yes. talking about ambition. No? So of the millions of people that have crossed your path or have been in your touch, you have inspired all of them successfully. Is that the correct statement? Uh, I cannot say I inspire all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, what I do is, you know, when I'm on stage or doing my meetings and trainings, mm -hmm. I try my very best to plant good seeds in their brain. Correct. Can you cite an example of a massive success of a single human being that you might, ha whose life you might have touched? I guess, you know, uh, most important is you know, teaching, t telling a lot of people to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to do that for many years mm -hmm. through networking because of how I started. I lost my business in Canada. Which was? Uh, I started a public market. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, go to the, if you go to Seattle, there's a Seattle pipe market. The way they throw yeah, fish. Yeah, where they throw the fish around, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, in uh, Vancouver, there's a Grandview public market. Also the same like uh, the, the same pipe like market. The public yeah. market, mm -hmm. like the pipe market, okay? Yeah. In between the public, uh, pipe market and the Grandview market, there's a public market in the middle called the White Rock public market. All right. Uh, I'm the owner of the White Rock public market. I have never been to one. Uh, I, well, it only lasted two years and it went under. So. <laughs> but did they threw fish around? <laughs> no, 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 no. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, it was bad timing. Mm -hmm. uh, President Reagan and mm -hmm. Bill Vogel increased the interest rate to over 20%. This was in the 80s? Yeah, 1980s. And mm -hmm. then there was a big recession. So timing was bad and I lost mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the funny thing about traditional businesses, you can win 10 times, you cannot lose once. You can lose it only once. Yeah, if you lose once, all You're the 10 success is not enough to pay for the loss for chapter one. 13. Uh, chapter yeah. 13. So compared to traditional marketing companies, you know, traditional businesses yes. and then uh, multi-level marketing, what is the essential difference? It's a different business model, but how do you segregate it? What differentiates you and makes you much more powerful? What makes you not lose everything that you made in one go?